A beautiful night in Logan, Utah, and the herd making its presence felt early. The Utah State student section getting rowdy for this Mountain West Conference opener. Air Force comes to town to battle the Aggies of Utah State. Headed your way right now. And welcome to college football on ESPN, brought to you by Geico. On a beautiful first night of fall 2018, it is the Mountain West Conference opener, the Falcons of Air Force in town, getting set to tangle with the Utah State Aggies. Well, what a scene inside of Maverick Stadium where championship dreams go to die. Great to have you on board once again for this Wild West shootout. Alongside of Tom Ramsey, I am Roy Philpott, and here we go. Utah State's won its last two games. They're scored almost 60 points per contest this year. The offense has been on fire. Well, and Roy, these two teams are familiar with one another. They played the final game of last season in a 38-35 Air Force victory. They know each other well, but this is a Mountain West Conference opener for both teams, and Utah State will put up some points. They're on the national scale, averaging 55 a game. And led by the sophomore signal caller, Jordan Love, what a great start to his second season here in Logan, Utah. This guy can do it all. He's got NFL potential if he can live up to it. He's really a talented player. He can throw it short. He can throw it deep. He has an array of great weapons around him. He also has a duo of running backs, and they're averaging almost 10 yards a carry. So they will stay balanced as much as they can. But Jordan Love can carry a big load tonight. Darwin Thompson, more than 10 yards per touch so far. Super explosive, and he can also squat almost 600 pounds. He's been a workhorse in the weight room thus far. Well, you think about Air Force. You think about the Falcons and head coach Troy Calhoun. Their defense, of course, comes to mind, but the triple option. The great equalizer in college football, and Air Force is going to really challenge the Aggies here tonight when they have the football. Well, it's always a numbers game with the triple option. Isaiah Sanders is a young quarterback, but a very athletic quarterback, and I expect him not only to run the option well tonight, but he can also run play action out of that formation, and he is a really talented guy. Think about this. He almost ran 200 yards last year against Utah State. That was in his first career start. What does he have in store tonight? We're about to find out. The stars are out tonight as well. Donovan Mitchell in the house showing some love from the Utah Jazz here inside of Maverick Stadium. A Mountain West Conference opener for both clubs. Getting set to head your way. Up next... It is tails. You've won the toss. What's your choice? Defer. Okay, Air Force has won the toss, is elected to defer their option to the second half. You want to receive? Which way do you want to kick? You want to kick that side? Beautiful night in Logan, Utah. Tom Ramsey, Roy Philpott inside of Maverick Stadium, the Mountain West Conference opener for both Utah State and Air Force. The Aggies have been in the league since 2013. Beautiful night. Temperatures in the upper 60s. You know what it feels like fall here, maybe not in other parts of the country, but here in the Beehive State, it feels fantastic. It'll be interesting to see what Utah State does tonight. Really, offensively, Roy, they play such a fast-paced game. There's a look at both coaches. Matt Wells, of course, the head coach of Utah State, and Troy Calhoun at the helm of the Air Force Academy, Falcons. And, you know, both these young coaches, they do such a great job with all their young men. And they're two really top-notch programs in the Mountain West Conference. Air Force won the toss. They deferred. Aggies will get the football first for this whiteout 
Here in Logan, the student section has been rowdy all afternoon now into the evening. And what a great scene as you see the cloud of smoke billowing up across the way. Matthew Felici will kick things off for the Falcons off a of bye week after a close loss at Florida Atlantic some two weeks ago. What a wild day of college football it has been. Army tested Oklahoma all the way to overtime in Norman. We saw Virginia Tech go down. The top three, meanwhile, maintaining their elite course as Scarver will kneel it down. And we'll walk it out of the 25-yard line. And let's talk about this Utah State offense. The tempo has been, well, sensational the early part of the season, Tom. Yeah, it really has. I mean, they, they know one speed so far, and it's just stand on the gas. It's interesting. I'll be interested to see if they stand on the gas tonight and just really no huddle all the time. They're coming out right at the line of scrimmage. So they want to put a lot of pressure on this Air Force defense, and they're doing it right from play one. Tenth start of Jordan Love's career. Right here and right now as the handoff goes to Gerald Bright. And the near side run ahead to the 30. He'll pick up four as Blake Daly brings him down. Make that a gain of five yards. One of the things I'm impressed with, you know, we talked about the talented, skilled players up top, but I like the offensive linemen as well. Everybody's back from a year ago for the Aggies. They've recruited well in the trenches. Here's Bright on the swing pass. Needed five. He'll get five and then some, and that's a first down. And the pace of this offense, talking offensive play caller David Yost, it may be the fastest in college football this year. Right straight ahead for a short game. And remember, the two important downs, if you're Air Force, are first down. They stop them there on a short gain and third down, so they'll be interesting tonight. Love with time across the middle. Dangerous toss. Jordan Nathan ahead to the 45. It'll be third and short. Fedulum with a stop. Nice throw that time by Jordan Love. Really just throwing between defenders to Nathan. Already four plays on the ledger for Utah State in a minute. Laquavian Tarver into plus territory. That'll move the chains. And Utah State impressive as expected on its opening possession. Well, Tarver's just such a great big target. And he really hurt Air Force a year ago. On the RPO, Tarver again. Well, that's what David Yost told us earlier this week. They want to test this Air Force secondary with the horizontal passing game. Primarily the tunnel screens didn't do it enough last year. Yeah, and he really said, you know, they want to get the ball out on the perimeter. They think they have good matchups with their outside guys against the young corners of Air Force. Air Force slowing them down there. Utah State subbed out, and by rule, you have to allow the defense to sub out as well. Falcons started their season with a shutout win against Stony Brook. Fell by six at Florida Atlantic before the open date. And now a timeout for the Aggies. Kevin Hassel, our referee tonight. Well, we thought they would go fast, and so far that's exactly what they've done, Tom. Yep, and, it, you know, I think it's a great strategy for Utah State. They're used, to, they're used to it. They practice it, and they'll just keep coming at you until you slow them down. Entertaining contest just one year ago in Colorado Springs. Really just five games ago when you think about it. 38-35 was the final score. And the Mountain West Conference this year off to a great start. A couple of early wins against Pac-12 foes, including UCLA, Arizona State, and Oregon State going down. And I tell you what, that's been a consistent theme throughout college football. The group of five has been downright nasty. The group of five has been putting on people's chins of late. And, uh, boy, the Pac-12, they did take up a, took a good, pretty good beating last weekend. Love starts tonight, four for four. Seventh play of the drive right here. An inside give, Gerald Bright needed two, and he's close to the mark. Lakota Wills with a hit. 
That'll bring up third and short. And, and one area Troy Calhoun told us yesterday that had to play well tonight is that defensive interior of Air Force. Running tempo, Love, the keeper. And he's going to lose some yards. Lakota Wells ready and waiting once again. And the Air Force defense now puts Matt Wells and company in a precarious spot. Yeah, Lakota Wills, number eight, really having a nice season. Plays that boundary outside backer. And then in rushdowns, he'll end up lining up as a down rusher in a 40 front. So he's been impressive thus far this season. After all the early rhythm and tempo, Aggies will be forced to punt. Taylor Heinze on the field in a flag as well. There is no foul for a legal substitution by the offense. Timeout was called prior to the foul occurring. Timeout, Utah State. This is their second charge timeout of the half. And that could prove to be costly later in this half. Well, Troy Calhoun likes the way his defense has started here tonight. Well, one of the things both, well, one of the areas both programs pride themselves on is special teams. And it's interesting, like you said, taking a second time out this early, you know, boy, down the line, it could become very crucial. I like what Air Force did, though, Roy, when Utah State subbed out. Air Force elected to sub in two for two. So two Utah State players went off, and it slowed their tempo down immediately. Falcons have won the last three. They've all been competitive. It was 38-35 a year ago. Back in Colorado Springs, Heinze, end over end. And a touchback for the Falcons. First time out as we step aside, 12 19 remaining here in our first quarter. Jordan Love on the horn talking to his play caller David Yost after a nine play drive. Ends rather abruptly. Back in Logan, Tom Ramsey, Roy Felpot. Our first look at Isaiah Sanders, Colorado native, 6'2, 210 pounds. His nickname is Zay. And Tommy's going to be running the triple option all night long for the Falcons. Give to Fagan and Cole Fagan, who has taken over that starting fullback spot. Pick up two. Yeah, they'll always give you a nice dose of fullback dive. They just want to see how you're playing the dive initially, and then they'll start rotating sweeps and pitches immediately. Fagan again. To the 25, it'll bring up third and five after a gain of three. The tackle by Woodward. Yeah, besides Sanders rushing for 196 yards against Utah State last year, the fullback dive hurt Utah State. And Matt Wells told me before the game, they didn't have a good de defensive plan. They've also changed coordinators. So Kevin Patterson now the defensive coordinator for Utah State. Matt Wells said we looked like Mount Logan Middle School last year on defense. Primarily due to number four in blue making his first career start. Bottled up and sandwiched just short of the line he needed to gain. That'll bring up fourth down and two, a gain of three yards, and Utah State impressive defensively. Yeah, they were. Tipa Naliai there to make the play, coming from the outside linebacker position. And number 10 is an awfully talented player. Transfer from TCU right there to make the stop and to bring him down. John Trail Rockamore has one of the best names in college football with the assist. Charlie Scott punted away from his 18, a sky and kick. As Nathan calls for the fair catch. Utah State will begin its second possession after a 35-yard punt with good field position. When we come back, just underway here in Logan. ESPN College Football is presented by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And in part by Lexus. Experience amazing.
Some 6,000 strong. They call them the herd, the Utah State student section. Not in full force tonight. Back inside Maverick Stadium, Tom Ramsey, Roy Philpa. Conference opener for the Aggies and the Falcons. Donovan Mitchell in the house. He should have been the rookie of the year last year in the NBA. They gave it to Ben Simmons. I didn't consider him a rookie. He was injured the previous year. We'll put that on the shelf for a couple of minutes. As Jordan Love, his second possession, wants it all, looking for Tarver. Has a step as the pass sails out of bounds. Milton Bug in coverage. Well, he could really get the ball out. I was watching him throw deep balls the other day at practice, and Jordan Love throwing to his left might be a, a better side. And he can keep the ball and really drive it down the field, and Tarver has just been a great deep ball catcher. Darwin Thompson, first carry of the evening. Short pickup. Lakota Wills, his third stop. And it's quickly third down. Well, Troy Calhoun gave us an interesting quote yesterday. Reminded me of Mike Tyson. Well, everybody's got a plan until you get punched in the mouth. And kind of imply that to us. If we can get them in second and nine, third and long, they're not going to be running a lot of tempo out there. That's true. Air Force doing a lot of stemming, moving people around before the snap. Here comes the pressure. Jalen Green, the reception. The drive continues. The transfer from SC picks up 11. And the Aggies just like that at midfield. Yeah, nice route that time by Green. Play action. First look at the tight end. That's the backup. Check that. It's Dax Raymond with the grab. Tom, he's got NFL potential now in plus territory after a gain of 16. Well, they love Dax Raymond, and, and Jordan Love actually really, really likes Dax Raymond. He's such a quality pass catcher. They're in 11 personnel almost exclusively, one tight end, one running back, three wide out. So you'll see a lot of Dax Raymond tonight. Same play, Green the grab, and ushered out of bounds in the red zone. It's first and 10 for Utah State. And another gain of 16. You mentioned Jalen Green, grad transfer out of Southern Cal. And, you know, he came into Southern Cal originally as a, as a quarterback and then transitioned to a receiver. And they love the strength of his hands. Raymond, second grab, first and goal, Utah State. And look at the pace this offense is running at now. Yeah, yeah, tempo, tempo will hurt you. But, you know, it's easy throws and catches, right? Just slipping the... Slipping Dax Raymond out in the flat. No one underneath for Air Force to cover him. Thompson in the backfield. Gets the handoff. End zone. Touchdown, Aggies. drive put together and to finish it off Darwin Thompson from six yards out and you know seven plays 62 yards Roy minute 34 didn't take long no they may review if he got in here or not see if his knee actually hits the ground he well if Bagnall's not in our picture. <laughs> we might be able to see. It's close. The old adage applies. It's got to be indisputable video evidence. It was not touchdown stands. Dominic Eberly, one of the top kickers in the country, remains perfect with his extra points in his Utah State career. And how about Darwin Thompson? Five touchdowns already this year. He can squat almost 600 pounds. He's got a 40-inch vertical and speed to burn for this Aggies offense. ESPN app. Now with ESPN Plus. Get more ESPN and download now. Back in Logan. Utah State, an early touchdown on the board as the kickoff. The ensuing possession sails through the end zone. A busy night of college football. Chris Cotter, what's happening up at Oregon?
Bryce Love there. Jordan Love here on the first carry for Air Force. Ronald Cleveland picks up 15. He was hit by Jamarcus Ingram, who's back after missing some time due to a death in the family. Boy, Ronald Cleveland almost sprung that, too. Utah State walking both safeties within seven yards of the line of scrimmage to try to contain Isaiah Sanders in this triple option attack. We'll stop him after a gain of four. Make it second and six. Yeah, Keith Patterson, you know, he, he's really just selling out to stop the run. Last year, Utah State had seven to run the line of scrimmage, sometimes eight players. He's willing to put nine and ten guys in the box to try to slow down, slow down this Falcon offense. Nine in the box, you would believe, would signal play action for Air Force at some point. Inside give and head to the 49. And as Caden Remsburg with his second career carry will make it third down and one. Rockamore the hit. Uh, Troy Calhoun likes these short third downs. He said they had to be more efficient on third down. And having a third and short or third and one is exactly what you want to dial up. Fagan straight ahead, first down into Utah State territory. Troy Calhoun told us this week, Cole Fagan and the Fagan family, they've got steel in their eyes. <laughs> and you love hearing that about your starting fullback, Tom Ramsey. Yeah, you do. Uh, Kevin Fagan was my era in the NFL, too. He had steel in his eyes. That, that, that family, yeah, there's some tough hombres there. The NFL bloodlines. His father, Kevin, played college ball at Miami. Sanders probing. And a gain of two on first down. Well, contrasting styles tonight, but Air Force is starting to use some tempo like Utah State. Yeah, Air Force can do it. They can, you know, once they get the chains clanging along the sideline, one of the things that Troy Calhoun said midweek this week was someone asked him at one of his press conferences, hey, how do you generate a big play, an explosive play? He said, you know, we don't. We just got to get first downs. And he made the baseball analogy, we got to get runners on base. And, and I thought that was... Very apropos for Air Force. They just, they like when they get 20 to 25 first downs in a game or more. Option, far side, late pitch. Erickson ushered out short of the 40. Nolan Erickson, after a gain of seven, was stopped by Gage Ferguson. Great job by... Sanders this time, you know, really pushing the edge, really taking it to the edge and the back flying the wing and just at the right location for the pitch. Falcons one of two on third down. Erickson will be stopped short. A day away, the initial contact. That'll bring up fourth down. Adewale Adewale is a, a, a big glass of water. And for the record, he just informed everyone here in Logan yesterday his last name is pronounced Adewale. So if you're used to hearing something else, that'll explain it for you. Second punt of the night for Charlie Scott. End over end again. And Nathan appeared to have caught for the fair catch, then took off after a 34-yard punt. A poor field position for Utah State for possession number three. Yeah, I think he got away with one there. I don't ever, I never really saw his arm go up for the fair catch. It may have. That's a fair catch, isn't it? No, no it's, it's, it's a very sloppy. He started running after, but I believe they did recognize, the referee recognized it as a fair catch, and they spotted it at the eight-yard line, or seven. Arkansas begs to differ. That's another story for another day. Yeah. Jordan Love back on the field after a quick strike offense in attack mode their last time out. Tarver on the screen. Ahead to the 12, Buck the stop. Now Utah State scored 73 its last game against Tennessee Tech, 60 against New Mexico State, a bowl team a year ago, two weeks ago. 
And a quick give results in a first down on second and five. Gerald Bright picks up six. Boy, that, that is good inside running by Gerald Bright. Patient and really just following his blocks. Just really kind of an inside, inside zone play. Bright, a converted wide receiver to the 24. But Utah State played New Mexico State in a bowl game last year and lost. They turn around several games later and put up 60 points. Kind of speaks to the improvement that's expected here in Logan this year. And you, may, you may think that's a little gamesmanship by Air Force, but it is one way you slow a fast team down. When the offensive side subs, the defense has the opportunity to sub out as well, and that's what they did. We'll fake the jet sweep. First down, Tarver. Bullied backwards, short of the 35. Milton Bug his third stop. That's a gain of 11, Tom. Boy, I like, I like Jordan Love so far. I mean, he's really had control of where he spins the ball. Give Tarver just a big target. Nice throw and catch. Junior college transfer, another reception. Sent out short of the 40 by Lakota Wills, who's had an active first quarter. You know, in that practice the other day, there were some scouts watching practice. I said, who are you watching? And they, 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 they like to watch the seniors. And of course, Tarver fits that category. And, you know, he's not an NFL, you know, test guy. I don't think he's going to run a 4-3. I don't think he's going to vertical jump 44 inches. But he will body you up, and he'll make catches, and he'll get himself open. Our first trip to Logan, I think we were both somewhat surprised at how good this team looks getting off the bus. And there is the potential for some NFL talent. They've recruited the junior college ranks well. Jordan Love is a reliable quarterback, just a sophomore as Taylor Compton. Snags that one out of the air in a gain of 10 and another first down. Well, I think that's a credit to Matt Wells and his staff, too. Exactly what you're saying, Roy, about what their program is all about. Looking deep, wide open, Scarver, and he dropped it. Well, that's got SportsCenter not top 10 written all over it, and Scarver cost his team six points. Well, Avon Scarver has been really impressive so far this year. This doesn't happen often, just a flat-out drop. He waited on the ball just a little bit. Defender really wasn't even near him. Just a missed opportunity there. Just the second incompletion for Jordan Love. Scarver's one of the top return men in the country this year. His hands have already always been steady. Bright stacked up, driven backwards. Blake Daly initiated the contact. And it's getting a little chippy down there. Well, again, the Air Force defense being able to put Utah State in a long third down. Love pump fakes. Passes not caught. Receiver shifting out of bounds. That was Devin Tompkins. And Love led him a bit too far. Yeah, the ball was just so high. Just Tompkins went up. This is the ball carried him out of bounds. I think he might have had him a little earlier. If he, if he threw it just a shade earlier, might have had him. You know, that's the one thing I've learned from you, former quarterback at UCLA in the NFL for all those years with the Patriots. You watch a lot of quarterbacks, and without hesitation, a lot of times you're telling me the ball's coming out late. And when it does, bad things tend to happen. <laughs> they do. Tip balls are always bad news, but when the ball comes out late, usually it's bad news too. It's just... You can get away with it at the college level. You can get away with a late throw, but at the next level, never. There's a flag on the field. Illegal formation. Kicking team, more than four players in the backfield at the snap. That penalty, five-yard penalty, will be added to the end of the kick. Timeout. Now the Aggies out in front, 7-0. But a chance for more just moments ago. As Savon Scarver dropped what should have been a touchdown.
College football presented by Geico. Back in Logan, Utah, Tom Ramsey, Roy Philpott, Aggies with a touchdown advantage. Air Force takes over. Poor field position once again. Two possessions so far for the Falcons. Two punts. And Isaiah Sanders. Number four in blue, the starting quarterback tonight for Troy Calhoun's Falcons. And Fagan, a punishing run straight ahead to the 30. We check in once again with Chris Cotter. Well, you love the fighting Herm Edwards. Already an upset against Michigan State earlier this year. Play action. Sanders will throw it for the first time. Wide open is Marcus Bennett. As he dives out of bounds in Utah State territory, the safeties creep up. Air Force goes long. Well, just a beautiful play call that time. Mike Thiessen, former quarterback, offensive coordinator, loves to get Isaiah Sanders out on the edge. And right there, you see how they just open up the field, as you mentioned. Roy, safety's come up. They can bootleg out the back door. Nice throw, nice catch. Remsburg, his second carry of the night, the third of his career, and a good one at that. Close to first down yardage. They'll give him 10, the stop by Rockamore. You know, a few moments ago, that you know, they again, they throw that, that fullback dive. The first play, they opened up this drive. It was a nice fullback trap inside, and boy, they leveled some people. Sanders to the 25, and a gain of six. The physicality of this offensive line of Air Force will start to wear on the defensive line throughout the game. I went back and watched last year's game, and in the fourth quarter, Air Force was coming off the ball as hard, as fast as they had in the first quarter, and that just, it really demoralizes a defensive front. Rockamore will drag down Cole Fagan. 7-0 our score, approaching a minute to go in our first quarter. Beautiful night for college football. First day of fall, Tom Ramsey in a packed house inside of Maverick Stadium, which we always enjoy. Big weekend coming up as well in the National Football League. Make sure you kick your Week 3 NFL Sunday off with ESPN at 10 o'clock Eastern. As our Sunday NFL countdown crew will have all the early breaking stories, entry updates, and plus previews of each and every game right up to kickoff. Also on the ESPN app so you can watch it anywhere. How about the Cleveland Browns Thursday night off the schneid? Dilly dilly. How about that in Baker <laughs> Mayfield? How about Get Baker the job Mayfield? done. Baker Mayfield's also a good dancer. You, I Ooh. mean, if you, if you look anywhere out on social media, that guy's dancing. Is he dancing or playing quarterback? I liked how we played quarterback the other night, though. It was impressive. He's brought swagger back to Cleveland somehow. And, and what did he do? He got the ball out quick. Devin Anderson, the injured Utah State player, reserve defensive end. He's got one tackle tonight. Big number 91 rumbles off under his own power, and that's a good sign. Yep, Devin Anderson, one of those rotating defensive front guys. And that's one of the other things. you got to rotate a lot of guys in. Air Force will rotate a lot of guys as well. They, they feel good about a young guard and tackle. Nolan Ferguson getting his first start. And Parker Ferguson at left tackle. Both that left side of the line is pretty young. Christian Mallard checks in at fullback on third and short. Sanders straight ahead. Inside the 20, that'll move the sticks. Got to like how they come off the ball. They come firing off. Low man wins in that scrum right there. And Air Force just with pad level low, fierce at the point of attack. Quarterback sneak first down to Air Force. Falcons, one of the best red zone offenses in the country. Touchdowns on seven of eight red zone possessions this season. They'll fake it to Mallard. Cleveland try to get to the edge. Sent out around the 15. A 
like they got the tight end out there, Kate. Waggis pack, he's getting a block out on the perimeter on number four, Wade. And, you know, Cleveland is a shifty guy. He can really throw the Jets on sometimes and get, catch the edge, and that makes Coach Calhoun happy. Punishing hit against Caden Remsburg, third carry of the night. Ferguson got there first. That'll bring up third down and short. Caden Remsburg, I was talking to Mike Thiessen about him prior to the game, and it was kind of funny, Roy. He just said, boy, if he gets open, if he gets in the open field, he's gone. He called Caden Remsburg, at least to us, and said he had some top-end speed, so Troy Calhoun trying to get the academy back in position, trailing by a touchdown after 15. A packed house inside of Maverick Stadium, a great atmosphere for Mountain West Conference football tonight.